Hello there, how are you? Welcome back to How I Did It. Well, we pulled the trigger and we made the decision we're going to have to spend quite a bit of time in town. We have a big owl out at the off grid barn that has decided that he likes little white shepskis that are running around. So we could not let him out from dark until total sunrise. Stella and I were like on high alert the whole entire time. So this is the ride coming back in. At first they were wound up and then they were just like, okay, when we get there, we get there. Let's go to sleep. This little Miss Rose just totally crashed out there. All right, so once we got back into Orlando, we're staying at my son's house. We went ahead and set up a kiddie pool. We put up that orange construction uh, plastic fence here on the front side of the house. A couple of metal grates here and there. And so they have a pretty good space that they can actually walk around. Now the thing that's pretty cool, they're still having kind of a harder mash in the morning for breakfast. But in the middle of the day for lunch, they're actually eating hard kibble. Where's it at, Stella? <laughs> she loves chasing there her lizards. There you go, Gracie girl. All yeah, right, so at job, six girl. weeks, they pretty much will sleep all night. They wake up and their bed is clean. A couple of wet spots. I'm not sure who my, who my bed wetter is, but they are all pooping outside. And for the most part, they are peeing outside. They are eating hard kibble. Stella has um, started cutting them back on how much she will let them eat off of her. They have had their second warming. As you can see, they have uh, the same color coordination collar on, but they are bigger collars. They outgrew the other ones quite substantially. It is amazing at how much these little guys and girls like to chew. They have uh, pretty well destroyed my little flowers that were in the, that one flower bed. Up here along the porch, they've destroyed these little purple shrubby type plants. <laughs> so it is not my fault, disclaimer, Prior to all the moms and dads getting their babies here, I did not encourage them to eat these plants. And yes, I did verify that they were puppy safe. So we have not lost any puppies or had any vet visits because of poisonous plants that the puppies got into and were chewing on. They're getting very comfortable with their pool. I have that pool set up from the time they get up in the morning until the time it goes, they go to bed. Um, I even started out initially with like a little watering bowl out there for them. And then I just set it up to where they had to go out to the pool. There's a little step up, my um, planning cup step up. That way they could get into it. But as you can see now, <laughs> they're, they're getting big enough to just get right in and out of this thing. Now, believe it or not, that's the very same whelping pool that Stella had all nine of those babies in. Amazing, isn't it? They are just growing by leaps and bounds. So a couple days later, I decided to take them across the street and utilize my mom's house. She's out of town. She's up visiting my sister that lives in Jersey. And so I set up their little puppy fence right here. It's kind of nice because it's just a terrazzo floor. And then I could set up the puppy pool out on the back pool deck. But the beauty of this is there is an actual full-size pool. So these 
little babies, by the time they go home, they will have their water wings for sure. Now right now in Florida it's averaging about 95 to 98 and my mom's air conditioner is set at 80 so when these puppies go into her house they think 80 is like arctic. It's great. They crash right out on the floor right there by the door. You know I had to do a close-up of these guys eating. I just love listening to their little crunching on the dog food. Yeah, I'm going to have to replant my mom's flower bed. <laughs> they, they trashed it pretty well, it, <laughs> as you can see. I ended up having to pull the plant out of the back right there in the very back corner. That's actually an artificial plant. I didn't want them to tear that up. And of course, something new. Set the camera down there with the tripod, and they're going to find that and start chewing on it as well. little stinkers it is pretty nice we're at uh, the six week mark as of the airing of this and 
So two more weeks to go. I figure in the next two weeks they will all be swimming like crazy, running around like crazy. They will have had three wormings. They will have their first vaccinations. They're also going to have their chip and their health certificates. I'm waiting to see if this one's going to take the total plunge. my little shadow today. Yes, you are my little shadow. Hello, 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 hello. hello. So my little shadow I there, his name is night, Swade. Yes, you just decided to go for a swim in the middle of the night. Yes, you did. Last night at dark, when I was getting ready to bring him in, he fell in the deep end. Crazy little turd. He did a good job, though. I made him swim all the way back over here to the steps, and Stella and I brought him out. Stella, she was great. And as you're going to see here in just a moment, he went in again. <laughs> this time it was broad daylight and it was a shallow end, but I just held him, his head up, let him swim over to the steps. <laughs> of course, St Stella grabbing him. Get up here. Get up here. How many times do I have to tell you, boy, stay out of that deep water and tell you glad you're swimming lessons? Oh my goodness. That guy, he is something else. Little Joker. <laughs> She's still chewing him out. <laughs> oh my goodness. What a wonderful week it's been. All right, so it's official. Week six is finished and we're gonna start on week seven. What I'd like to do this next week is see if I can't get some close-ups of them uh, their eyes are really starting to change, the colors starting to come in, and I want to try to capture some of the little independent personalities. Definitely have a lot of little independent personalities. <laughs> oh my goodness, but they are just amazing, just absolutely amazing. Alrighty, y'all, thanks for stopping by. Have an absolutely wonderful and blessed day and i'll see you next friday on stella and her nine shepskis update